It's time for business. I'm Nokip Kimboi. Two high-profile businessmen have been barred from holding any public office after it emerged that the duo were involved in insider trading claims at Kennel Cobell. The two are former Kestrel Capital East Africa Chief Executive Officer Andre Desimun and Ali Khan Sachu. The ex Kestrel CEO has also been handed a penalty of 2.5 million shillings following his involvement in the insider trading of Kennel Cobell shares in the period before the takeover announcement was made public in October 2018. The landmark Africa continental free trade area became operational after Nigeria and Benin jointly signed up the agreement. The pact is expected to boost into Africa trade by opening up free trade movement of people and goods across the continent. The African Continental Free Trade Area came into effect at the Africa Union Summit at Niger's capital, Niamey, forming the largest free trade area in the world. If successful, it will unite 1.3 billion people and create a $3.4 trillion economic bloc for the continent. The agreement aims to remove barriers to trade, including tariffs on 90% of commodities, strengthening supply chains, and spreading expertise. African nations currently trade only about 16% of their goods and services among one another. This falls way below the intra-Europe trade, which stands at 65%. Of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Trading with the slash tariffs will begin in July 2020 to give member states time to adopt the framework and prepare their business communities for the emerging market. In total, 27 countries including Kenya, Ghana, Gambia and Gabon have ratified the pact that came into force in May 2019. Ghana will be home for the Secretariat of the Trade Zone. Its president, Nana Kufo-Ado, says his country is ready to give $10 million to help set up the office. The chairman of Kenya Tanners Association, Robert Njoka, has asked the government to remove the 10% export levy imposed on tanned and crushed hides and skins in a bid to boost growth of the leather industry. He also challenged people who are complaining that they are lacking local market for their raw skins to strike collaborations to expand their access to markets. Um, a few companies have been given the tenders, the contracts have been signed to about five companies. Uh, but you see, even if they have been given the other challenge, we have the bigger challenge, is on the quality of hides in the country, uh, the way the hides is handled along the value chain, uh, where we are saying that is part of our bigger challenge, and that's what is making even the, the mineral person fail to get the value of the hides because of the hides quality. If there is a better management of the quality uh, from the slaughterhouses uh, to the uh, to the tunnelly, uh, together with the mineral people, then we'll be able to achieve our goal of the quality. Big Square, one of Kenya's leading casual dining chain, has officially opened its 12th outlet. Looking to lure the urban food lovers, the fancy establishment gobbled up 45 million shillings as an initial investment. The fast food chain is also shaping the economy in creating jobs with the recent outlet openings. Be within Shell uh, service stations. So we have this being uh, the third one, at Mountain View. We have others at Shell Wilson, that's next to Wilson Airport, and we have Shell Bellevue with the third one, which is on Mombasa Road. Uh, convenience is becoming really a key thing for our customers with their busy lifestyles, and they're looking for a brand that gives a one-stop shop, and that's what we strive to do. 
and we want to make sure that we provide convenience and all aspects of the same. Well, that's our business tonight. I'm Noah Kipkin Boy.